Renal Colic Renal colic refers to an acute onset of flank pain, which radiates to the groin or genitals. The term colic or colicky pain is used to describe a form of pain that starts and stops abruptly. It occurs due to muscular contractions of a hollow tube, such as colon, ureter, or gallbladder, etc. The pain is frequently caused by urinary tract stone, which is also known as urolithiasis. The pain can be anywhere in the urinary tract, which includes the area from the kidneys to the ureters, urinary bladder, and genitals. It is a common condition seen in the emergency departments around the world. Accurate term for this condition is ureteric colic. The term renal colic actually refers to a group of symptoms related to the kidneys and ureters. Although the most common cause of renal colic is ureteric stones, but there can be other causes such as a blood clot and sloughed renal papilla. Here we will be discussing about urinary tract stones. The prevalence of urinary tract stones is increasing in many countries. The risk of getting urinary tract stones in men is about 12% and in women is 6%. Anatomy The kidneys are located on either side of the spine in the retroperitoneal space between the parietal peritoneum and the posterior abdominal wall, well protected by muscle, fat, and ribs. They are roughly the size of your fist. The kidneys have rich blood supply, receiving about 25% of the cardiac output at rest. Physiology The kidneys are the main organs of the renal system. Their main function is filtration of blood to remove nitrogenous waste products that are excreted through the urine. Kidneys also play a pivotal role in maintaining homeostasis by regulating electrolytes and maintaining acid-base balance. They also regulate blood pressure by maintaining salt and water balance. Kidneys are also responsible for the reabsorption of water, glucose, and amino acids and maintain the balance of these molecules in the body. In addition, the kidneys produce hormones including calcitrol, which regulates calcium, erythropoietin, which plays a vital role in the production of red blood cells, and the enzyme renin, which regulates extracellular fluid. Pathophysiology As a stone moves from the renal collecting system, it can cause obstruction and hydronephrosis of the ureter, decreasing the rate of ureteral peristalsis, causing urine to back up into the kidney. This can decrease glomular filtration rate of the affected kidney and cause increased renal excretion of the unaffected kidney. It also causes severe excruciating pain. If not treated, complete obstruction of the ureter can lead to the eventual loss of renal function, with the damage becoming irreversible in one to two weeks. Additionally, there is a risk of rupture of a renal calyx with the development of a urinoma. Of even more concern is the possibility that an obstructed renal unit might become infected, causing an obstructive pyelonephritis or pyonephrosis. This condition can be life-threatening and requires immediate surgical drainage as antibiotics alone are ineffective. When the stone obstructs an area of the ureter, pressure builds up in the urinary tract wall. This stimulates the production of prostaglandins, which dilates the ureteric lumen to help pass down the stone and increases the pressure within the kidney, which leads to diuresis, 